Well, here we are at Canton. Just arrived. And this is where Michael Patrick's gonna play the game. People have been sitting home watching this boy. Here's the other people waiting. This is the judges. Yeah, I think they're the judges. And this is the fans, miles and miles. And uh, Okay, I wanna swing back. We're gonna find uh, Mike. Right there, okay. He, this is Mike waiting. He, what's his, uh, what's, what's he playing? God, a tackle? What? Attack. Oh, he's attack. And his he's job hit. is to attack the goal. Okay, when does that happen? When he gets the ball. Okay, hang in there, Mike. Okay. He's waiting. Okay, we'll swing back. Let me know when he, gets, when he attacks. I play lacrosse because it's, I think it's one of the most fun sports that a person could ever play. Uh, you know, it's young enough where you can have fun with it and you can question what the boundaries of the game are. And it's not all about, you know, if you had three goals last week or, you know, if you had 18 ground balls. It's not all about that. It's, it's more about, you know, having fun. You know, I, I look at lacrosse as a release for me. You know, when I'm playing for those two hours, I kind of black out and forget where I am and you know, what I did that week or what I did that month. It's kind of my time to just be myself, run around there and just, just lose it a little bit. That's when I'm most free and having the most fun because, you know, I'm not really worrying about anything. cities you'll see kids walking around the streets and they'll be carrying basketballs and footballs and you know we do that from time to time but you know most of the kids you see around here have a ball and a stick in their hand and that's kind of how we grew up hey Ryan Ryan come here for a minute uh, it's a chance to we'll talk about Casey and yourself okay are you faster than Casey how about tougher you tougher than Casey? What? Or tougher? How about quicker? Uh, yeah. Well, in other words, all That's around. Faster, isn't it? <laughs> yes. Well, <laughs> yeah, that's right. Well, I was I was really lucky because I had two older brothers involved in the sport. Me being the younger brother, I always wanted to do whatever my uh, older brothers did, and uh, you know, thank God they weren't ballerinas. But. Uh, it was a really unique opportunity for me to learn from two players that were two of the best players to ever play the game in my own backyard. You know, my thing, why I think that I, I've succeeded in the sport is I didn't just want to be as good as my brothers. I always wanted to be better. Hi, everybody. We are uh, at my house up in, in Carthage. Carthage, Carthage New York. And I'm here with my mother and my best friend, and she's going to... Uh. She's going to show you around the house a little bit. I'm going to show you. This is our hut, but Mike suggested I show you some of my things that I care a lot about. These aren't all the rings that we ever won, but these are some of the major ones. Uh, this ring right here is actually the uh, first ring that our family won, I think. I think Casey won this in mm -hmm. 1995. So this is the first taste of victory in a national level that we had. This ring is Casey's when he won the MLL championship. This is my brother Ryan's championship at Syracuse. This is last year's championship that I had at Syracuse. This is when I played for Team USA and we won the, the world championship. They all have a lot of memories and we keep them here safe with mom. The next picture that I'll show you is my least favorite picture in the whole house. Um, if you can pan around the room, I think you'll notice it. It's the biggest picture to be in this small room. 
ever. Coach Simmons gave us that and made <laughs> the frame. But our house is too small for that picture. It's not too small. This picture is taken in Georgetown when Mike tied the record. I broke Mike. the record that day. You did? Mm -hmm. Oh, whoops. I thought you tied it. You tied it and See, broke she, it. She you had two the balls World Cup that trophy. <laughs> No, tied it and broke it. We were both right. Yeah, tied it and broke it. Right. That's determination. He's got the most game quick switch hit home run. And a three time winner of the Golden Gloves. He's an eight time all star with the most game winning. I'll be honest, but you know what I'm saying. With these kind of stats, man, we could be here all day. Dago to advance to today's championship game and Mike Powell, he's done it all. 73 goals, 105 assists. He had a big game against Canada. And you look at him, he's poor. He's the last brother in the legendary Powell family. Uh, his other older brother, Ryan, which is player, named player of the year in the lacrosse and, and the uh, college ranks. What's the key for him? He's not a big player. He's 5'9", 155 pounds. But what he is, he has great judgment. That's the key. He makes the right decision at the right time, which is what all great players do. Hi everybody, we're in the Stevenson Educational Wing of Syracuse University and I uh, thought it'd be a good opportunity to talk about uh, my eye black. It's kind of been my signature since I was in high school. I grew up playing with Native American players and intimidation was a big thing for them. And you know, I was scared of them, you know, with clean faces, but you know, they'd throw the, the, the mud on there and the in the paint and you know, just added to it, and you know, me being as small as I am, you know, I needed something to try and scare my defenseman a little bit. So uh, this is something that I did, and hope you like it. So this is where we uh, come to train. One of my favorite sports is playing basketball. Our, our way to get in shape at Syracuse is to kind of play basketball instead of running. You know, a treadmill can get repetitive, and uh, you know, running around a track you can only do for so long. But uh, I can play basketball all day. So let's go check out some of the other stuff here. <laughs> so this is uh, the weight room, pretty big weight room. You know, this is where I probably should have spent a little bit more time. I mean, what is this thing for? PlayStation? You know, working your hands. Try and stay out of here as much as I can. I'm more of a runner. We'll try to get that goal back quickly. Powell, spinning, shooting low and scoring! That's the Mike Powell we remember. As she takes it away, Powell. You know what? They, they generally don't have a, a second. Powell night. gets the goal. Yes. Ball's down. Still loose out in front. Powell there. Yes! Mikey Powell. And here comes Syracuse after the loose ball. 2 to 1 Orange Man. Mike Powell looking to make something happen. Beats his defender. Beats the goalie. 2 1 Syracuse. Coppin spins away. Coppin finds an opening to Powell. Out in front. Bane scores. Loose ball. Mike Powell scores. Good shots. Now Syracuse getting good perimeter passing, but if you can break it, right, right here. Mike Powell going to work. Nice pass out in front, and Brian Mee. Syracuse being patient. The crowd appreciates the effort. Here comes Powell going one on one. They clear out for him. He gets around the defense. Back hit Patrick. They score. Look at Powell go to work and score again. Michael has it knocked away. Has to chase it down. Oh wow. Mike Powell just oh this went through his legs with a stick. Look at him go. Powell gets it open behind the back shot. Uh -oh. He scores. Great job done by Mike Powell. Mike Powell, behind the Cornell coach, losing his man. His man falls down. Powell puts it on the side of the... Powell, pushed away by...
by Bryant. Bryant beat him. Goes over. Got three in front. And quick pass Shavitz to tie the game 2 2. How's it going, everybody? I'm here with, uh, I call her my on campus mother. She kind of takes care of everything for uh, Syracuse lacrosse behind the scenes. And, you know, you'll see her at some tailgate parties as well. Sure. And a big supporter. How long have you been here? 15 years. 15 years. How about that? All year long, Mike said that he is going was going to do something special, different, that's never been done in lacrosse. Well, uh, early on in the season, we always have a big press conference. It was my senior year, and at the press conference, I said that I would do something that's never before been seen on a lacrosse field. And, and really, not too many people knew. I didn't know. A lot of the coaches didn't know what it was. At, at the time when I said it, I wasn't even sure really what, what trick I was going to do or what I was going to do when I was going to do it. It was a UMass game, and it came down to like a minute, something left. And everybody's waiting, waiting, waiting. When is he going to do this? When is he going to do this? So all of a sudden, he did the flip. And it was something that no other lacrosse player has ever done, ever. So it was kind of exciting. The crowd went crazy, and it was a lot of fun. What's so cool about Mikey Cobb? He does flips. He's the man. And he plays music. Yeah. I knew from the very beginning that I was going to take a year off. Um, lacrosse is a, you know, it's a time-consuming sport in college, and it's basically a full-time job for you. You know, being a student, going to class, coming home, going to practice, staying after practice, lifting weights, that becomes repetitive, and you know, I, I needed a break from that. You know, a lot of people will say that I'm not treating the sport the way it should be treated, but you know, that really has nothing to do with it. In the off season, the year that I took off, I've created a bunch of products with Brian that have hopefully changed the game of lacrosse for a while. And you know, hopefully pe people see me active in the lacrosse world and know that I'm still working hard to get this game to go mainstream. <laughs> I look at myself as an ambassador of the game. My job as a lacrosse player, I feel, is to get this game a little bit more popular and a little bit more familiar with the, the people of the world. So if that means me doing some uh, some tricks and having fun out there, you know, I, I don't have a problem with that. something that we always grew up doing. We grew up in upstate New York and you know there wasn't a whole lot going on to be honest with you. So uh, we had to pass the time somehow and a lot of the time it was in the backyard and the three of us would always you know think of inventive ways to play the game of lacrosse. And a lot of the stuff that we'll do tonight uh, isn't something that we would use in a game but some of it is. And uh, you know, we kind of like to test the boundaries a little bit, and we'll throw in a couple of these moves when we do play the game. All right, here we go, guys. Let's get into it a little bit here.
reasons I'm playing professional lacrosse is to, to prove it to myself that I can play with the best in the world. You know, a lot of people can say, yeah, he's a great college player, but he's never proven himself on a pro level. But we'll see. Hey Brian, uh, I noticed hey, Mikey Powell was here early in the early in the week. What was your impression of Mikey? Um, I got to see all I needed to see of Mike Powell the day before we got here. Actually, when we took on Baltimore. I think he went four and two on us. Uh, a couple of them being spectacular goals. Uh, uh, Mike's an incredible player. Always fun to watch and great to hang out with. Wow, that's wonderful. What makes it, what makes him so impressive to you? Uh, you know, in every sport, you have guys that are just it's kind of appear to be better athletes than everyone else playing the game. Uh, you know, you had Michael Jordan in, in, in hoops and. Mike's like that. Everything he does is just unbelievable. Um, every time he touches the ball, you're waiting for something exciting to happen, um, whether it's in the middle of a game or just screwing around on a goal during camp. He's just fun to watch. Do you think Mikey's better than you at lacrosse, or do you think you're equal? Well, that's a good question, Mason. But I taught Mike everything he knows about lacrosse. He's picked up a few things along the way. But uh, I think right now that Mikey Powell is the number one lacrosse player in the world, hands down. Um, if anybody had to build a team, a dream team, I would pick Mike Powell number one on my team. You know, the game of lacrosse uh, is the fastest growing sport in America right now, and uh, you know, it's exciting to be um, a part of it right now. You know, I think that uh, Casey and I have kind of uh, set the groundwork here, but uh, now Mike's at a perfect time to really, uh, you know, uh, play his game and, and bring lacrosse uh, to uh, new levels that have never been seen before. And Mike's uh, definitely an innovator in, in the fact that, uh, you know, he's changing the game of lacrosse and the way that people think about it. Buy it, 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 buy it